Welcome back. A professor at the Patty Hanks Shelton School of Nursing right here in Abilene is sharing her passion with her students. At the same time, she's hoping to save some lives. Laura Wade and her students are hoping you'll join them to be a bone marrow donor. KRBC's Kelsey Pittman shows how you can help your community. Laura Wade's son, Hudson, was diagnosed with leukemia September 2015, looking for bone marrow matches in his siblings, but they weren't a match. We did look to the registry cr quite a bit. Um, was very hopeful that we would find one. Luckily, he was considered in remission before we needed the bone marrow transplant. But sadly, he passed away February 2016, but his memory still lives on. It's my whole motivation for even being a nursing instructor um, or for even um, helping with DKMS is to tell his story. I always love to tell his story and um, making beauty from ashes in a way um, and use that to, to help others. Um, I think it's our way to honor his memory. His mom passing on her passion to her students at Patty Hank Shelton School of Nursing. They showed um, Hudson's story to us in class and um, another student who had been affected by it shared her story and we were all just touched and heartbroken and we were like we want to do our part um, not only to help our school but just to get the word out and, and the importance and how life-changing this whole process can be just for one person. Student led to get the potential chance to win a grant getting it ready and making it as easy as taking five minutes out of your day. We'll have information tools there um, to let you know what it's about and then it's just a simple swab of your cheek um, that then we'll send off um, to DKMS. A website that is sparking a passion among many. I joined actually about three months ago. Hoping to get a better chance at finding that one life-saving match. I just remember feeling, oh I hope we find a match, I hope we find a match and um, to be that for somebody else, it's, it's an honor. In Abilene, Kelsey Pittman, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thank you very much, Kelsey. You can learn more about the match by visiting Hardin-Simmons, McMurray, or Hendrick Medical Center tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 3 in the afternoon.